So, someone in your life loves Ticket to Ride and you're looking to get them, or yourself, a new game. Let's discuss games for people that love Ticket to Ride. In order to decide a game to get someone that loves Ticket to Ride, let's first find out why Ticket to Ride is so fun. There are three things that I absolutely love about Ticket to Ride. Number one is collecting sets of cards. I love seeing that I need to get from point A to point B and having a set of colored cards that I need to get. And I love collecting and trying to gather those. It's a lot of fun to see that collection grow in my hand. And that leads to the second thing, deciding when to lay those cards. Do you lay them immediately as you get them, or does that give away what you're going to do? Maybe it's better to save those cards, but if you save them, maybe someone will steal your spot, and now you have all these cards you don't need anymore. This hand management, how you use your cards, is so fun in Ticket to Ride. My third and probably favorite thing about Ticket to Ride is the pathway or the missions that you have. I love that no one knows where I'm going. They don't know what point A and what point B are, and so I can collect these cards, decide how long to hold on to them, and then lay them out, and I love seeing that connection from point A to point B, and no one knows. So what are games like Ticket to Ride that have these same ideas or mechanisms? As far as collecting cards, Splendor is a very fun game that lets you collect, instead of trains, you're collecting jewels. And it has that same satisfying feeling of, for an objective, I need to collect these different jewels, and you get to spend your turn collecting and gathering these jewels or resources that you need. Another game that also lets you collect cards is Japur. You are collecting camels and cloth and gold and silver, and then you're able to spend them to gain points. Um, both of these games, Splendor and Japur, are like Ticket to Ride in that they let you gather these resources and you feel that same satisfaction. Number two, managing your cards, deciding when to lay them and when to hold on to them. There's a great game about bean farming, and I know that sounds weird, but it is a lot of fun. It's called Bonanza. In Bonanza, you are collecting beans and you are deciding when to lay them down and you have to lay them in a certain order and you get to trade with other players so that you don't get stuck with beans that you don't actually want. Like I said, as I say it, it sounds a little weird, bean farming, but this game is extremely fun and gives that satisfaction of when do I lay my cards down, when do I hold on to them, how fast do I get rid of them, and it also lets you trade with other players, which, which creates a lot of player interaction, which is fun. Another game that lets you manage your cards is Ethnos. In this game, you aren't collecting trains, but you're collecting dwarves and giants and different creatures. And you're using these cards to lay tiles on the board to control a certain area. And this game has that same idea of how long do you hold on to your cards? Do you keep trying to save up or do you just lay down immediately to make sure you can get what you want? The third thing that I loved was pathways or objectives. One great game that uses this is Takenoko. You can sit back and really enjoy the beauty of what you've created. Just like in Ticket to Ride when you've completed a mission, in Takenoko you are laying beautiful colored tiles, you're growing bamboo, you're trying to get a hungry panda to go around and eat some of this bamboo to complete secret objectives. And it's a lot of fun as you complete these objectives to almost surprise people by saying, look, what, look at all this stuff that I've created. Another great game that lets you create a pathway or objective in a different way is Azul. Azul is a beautiful game about laying tiles on a board. And there's no real theme to the game to say, but it is a lot of fun and you get to create a beautiful mosaic and you get to lay the tiles in a certain pattern and get points if you can lay them in the right order and at the right time. And it it scratches that same itch that Ticket to Ride does of, of feeling clever and watching yourself having created something beautiful. So to recap, games like Ticket to Ride, Splendor and Japur are great games about collecting cards. Bonanza and Ethnos are wonderful games about deciding when to lay cards, how long to hold on to them, and what to do with the cards that you have. As far as pathways or objectives, Takenoko and Azul are two beautiful games that give you that feeling of accomplishment and feeling clever. Now I know options are good, but sometimes it's just easier to say, just tell me one game, what should I buy? If you're just to pick one of these games, I would pick Ethnos. I think it has a very similar feel and player interaction that Ticket to Ride has. 
the only downside or caveat that I'll give is it can seem a little bit nerdy. It has dwarves and giants and mer people, and that may not be for you or for the person that loves Ticket to Ride. In that case, my second go-to would be Azul. Azul is different, but it, it has a lot of amazing and good things about it that I think anyone that likes Ticket to Ride will tend to really, really like Azul too. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Are there any other games that you would suggest that people that love Ticket to Ride try out? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time.